But it was easy. I'm all too much talking, so pretty easy. <laughs> was that your only line, or did they cut other stuff? Yeah, no, nah, it was my only line. Um, I had a few other things I was supposed to do, but we had practice you, and stuff, so I really couldn't. Couldn't never align schedule. Armando, yeah. the UVA was in first place to start this week. Um, FSU beat Miami today uh -huh. at the buzzer. Who, who's the best team in this league? I mean, I still think we are the best team. Obviously, we have not showed it anywhere close to it, but I mean, we go out there and beat UVA. Like, it's never a game where I feel like we're well, outmatched or overmatched. It's just more like, are we going to bring that fully when we need to get wins? And today, I thought we did that, and I hope it's something we can do. Do you really think that, though? Yeah, 100%. I still think. Armando, obviously, you guys still have a little bit of work to do in the last couple games of the season, but coming out beating a team like Virginia, do you feel like you sort of, I guess, cleared a hurdle with like your mindset? Um, I don't really know. I mean, we play on Monday, so we're going to just look at that game tomorrow, watch film, <coughs> and win that game. And then the next game, obviously, it's a big game. So really, we're just taking that thing step by step and just trying to stack these Ws right now. Do you feel like a sense of relief knowing that, I guess, with a night like tonight, you could get back to that level that you guys are playing at, at least yeah. at the end of last season? Definitely, I mean, because you look at UVA, they came off a tough loss last game. We knew they were going to be fired up. And, Scoring the ball on a team like that, how good they are defensively, the way we scored it, putting up 71 points, it was huge. Awesome, thank you, Armando. No problem. So with about a minute left, I put out a tweet that said, Caleb had five points, you had six field goal attempts, and at that point, Pete still had no rebounds, yet you guys were up 12. What does that say? Um, I think it's showing something that we kind of been waiting for all year, just for everybody to kind of step up when it's needed. If somebody's not playing good, somebody not doing the usual, do somebody else stepping up and I think this is probably one of our best victories. This is a team victory. We did it all together. You and Caleb at times this year have talked about the little things, how you guys need to do the little things more. Is that an indication that the little things were done tonight? Definitely, because, I mean, defensively, I thought we were sound. P blocking four shots was huge for us. And uh, in the second half, we didn't turn the ball over as much. What do you think the difference has been with Pete? Because the other night, he had nine of your first 11 points that were huge given the way that thing played out, and he gave you guys an early boost tonight. Yeah, I mean, he's just been being more aggressive, and I think that's uh, what we recruited him here for. We knew he could score the ball in a bunch of different ways, and he can affect the game in so many different ways. So as long as he's being aggressive every game and giving us, giving us his all, we'll have a chance. Quick turnaround. You guys fly out tomorrow, I guess, and you got Monday night against a team that can play defense. It can make things a little bit ugly. Yeah, I mean, Florida State is a weird team because they switch everything, and it's something you're not really used to, and they just got a big win yesterday. So it's not, we can, really, I mean, we kind of just got to flush this game now and just start getting in that mode like we got a game in two days. And last question, if things are starting to trend in the right direction, it will show itself Monday, right? Yes. Cool, thanks, man. <laughs>